It's, it's, it has brought awkward moments um, to a large extent because obviously I always see the energy field before I see the physical side of the person, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you see somebody with a grey energy field, especially when I was at school, that was my kind of, I had to choose my friends who had like bright energy fields. And obviously if there were teachers with a dark energy field, I would kind of feel, you know, uh, a bit more introvert or I wouldn't feel like talking to them and that kind of thing. And then there were times um, my mum and dad were moving house and there was a house that they went to and we walked into the front door and I was okay but by the time we got to the back dining room going into the kitchen extension I just started feeling really uncomfortable and um, it was kind of uncomfortable in every single cell of my body and I said to mum, you know, if, if you decide to move here that's fine but I won't be coming, I'm off, Chomp, bang, you know, and I was gone. <laughs> And I didn't understand what I was feeling at the time. Yeah. And um, it was a few years later, I think, when mum and dad actually moved to a house around the corner from that one. And they got to know the people that owned it. And just in conversation randomly one day, you know, mum was told that when they were digging the foundations to the extension, um, they'd found um, a baby's you know, bones. Yeah. So what had happened, I have no idea. But I just felt so uncomfortable. I mean, now I'd be able to, because I'm more experienced, I could have stayed, sent healing to it, probably had an awareness of whether the child had died naturally or otherwise, and, and been able to send healing to maybe the mother, the father, any siblings, and, and the whole situation, yeah. because obviously a house or, you know, particularly the concentration camps in Germany, you know, the actual Mother Earth is a living being, so she will absorb the pain of, of the concentration camps and yeah. things like that. So a lot of healers have gone back, but at the time it just freaked me out, and yeah. then I had to leave. So there was there were various situations, um, you know, where I'd know where somebody was poorly, or I had a knowing of something, or you know, um, where mum and dad were taking us somewhere and I didn't want to go, yeah. and I had to kind of keep a lid on it, you know. So there were, there were one or two. I don't know whether you call them hairy, scary moments, but you get yeah. the general idea. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and, and even now, you know, Kevin's aware, but having said that, he, he's very intuitive anyway, so probably if, if I didn't want to go somewhere, if something didn't feel right, he would probably know anyway. Yeah. And he respects me enough to know, right, okay, well, if she says it's, not, it's a no-brainer, it's a non-starter, then, yeah. then fair enough it is. Yeah. So, yes. 